And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be carrying on the main story of Shadowbringers. And as always, hello from Mifri. So we are here at um, the Aratika Greatwood, uh, 1927. And we need to talk to Ronar. The quest is called Lost But Not Forgotten. Ronar has more work to be done. So, done tending to the crops already. So, very good. It should not be long before your room is ready. Uh, Runar. So in the woods, uh, Sin Eaters, I fear they may have the touch. Where? In the grove to the southwest, uh, for a mercy, they've yet to wander any closer to uh, Sliverbow. Then we have no need to engage. Inform the guard that no one is to set foot outside the village until they have moved on. But sir, what of uh, Todia's hearthstone? It must be retrieved before the service. Of all the times for Sin Eaters to appear. Are you just going to leave them alone? Under normal circumstances, we would not hesitate in striking the beast down. But if they indeed have the touch, I will not risk them corrupting one of our own. Uh, what was that you said about a stone? A few days passed, uh, Todia, a child of the Knights Blessed, was slain by the Sin Eaters. We succeeded in retrieving her body, but in our haste we failed to notice her necklace was gone. Strong to it was a pendant of jade, her hearthstone. All of the Knights Blessed are given such a stone at birth. It is the most valuable possession one can own. It is custom to present the hearthstone of the deceased at their funeral as an offering to the heavens. But now... What if? Uh, what if I could find it for you? I have experience fighting Sin Eaters, and the light's corruption does not touch me like it does others. Master Matoya called you Menphilia, did she not? Um, are you truly THE Menphilia, descended from the Oracle? Even so, I dare not ask you to risk your life for the Blessed. I understand how you feel, but I can't stand by knowing that your people are in need, and I can help. Please let me do this. Very well, but if the danger proves too great, you must retreat. I could never forgive myself if we were forced to hold a second service. Um, I nearly forgot about Fancred. What if he returns before I do? Don't worry, I'll come with you. Thank you. With you by my side, I'm certain we can deal with them in no time at all. Go swiftly, and may the shadows keep you both. Interesting. Okay, so we need to go to there. So once we get there, we will continue. Okay, so we arrived. So let's now examine the destination. I do find the zone music of this area like interesting, to say the least. So there, the Sin Eaters. Huh, what's up? 
Ooh, twins. So I was hoping there would be only one. There's no way we can search for the stone without dealing with them first. Well, let's get to it then. What? Shouldn't we make a plan first? Though, there are only two. We'll be fine. I'll draw one of them away, you can deal with the other. Okie dokie. So, let me summon my trusty chocobo. And let's deal with this. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Wrecked. Okay, so let me now go to the next destination to help Minfelia. I am a fan of this mount, the collector's edition one. I think it's really cool. Okay, so where's Minfelia? Ah, she killed it already. Nice. Good job, Minfelia. So, Mifri, there you are. It's done, though I fear I was a bit careless. I'll do better next time, I promise. I'm fine. You needn't worry about me. More importantly, we have to find that hearthstone. They said it was made of jade, right? I'll search over there in the brush. Okay. Oh god. So now we have like a massive search area. Um, and like, let's see if we can avoid the mobs as well. So where do we go? If I was a piece of jade lost in the woods, where would I be hiding? Let me analyze that for a while. There it is. <laughs> Actually, I have to check each one of these. It's probably not going to be this one then. There seems to be no trace. Yeah, predictable. Right, so let's go to the next one. At least the glittering quest markers are really easy to spot from a distance. There seems to be no trace. Okay. So let us keep going. Where is... Okay, we're outside the search area now. I need to make sure, looking at the mini-map, that I'm in the right place. I'm not trying to pull every single mob here, you know what I mean? <laughs> ah, maybe this one. Let's avoid that beetle. Okay, so longer interaction time is probably means that this is the one. So you brush away the leaves to uncover a brilliant green gem. Done. Found it. So let's go back to Minfelia. It's like, I found it first, I'm the best, I'm Mifri, please subscribe. Okay, here she is. So, did you have any luck? Yep. It's beautiful. This has to be it. You know, uh, Fancred always said that you were a woman of many talents, and I think I'm beginning to understand what he meant. I have much to learn if I'm to be even half the hero you are. The hero she was. Oh, I'm sorry, forget I said anything. Uh, we should hurry back to Slifferbell. Uh, Runa and the others are probably worried. Cool. 
I'm assuming yeah, I can just teleport straight there. So let's do it now. Thank God they added the ability to click on the teleports from the map. When um, A Realm Reborn first launched, that wasn't actually in the game. It's something they added later. Of course, you would react to that saying, Cool story, Grandpa. Uh, thank you. Sorry, thank goodness you are safe. I had begun to fear the worst. Okay, so here's the Heartstone. So, by all that is dark, you found it. We can proceed with her service as planned. Uh, these blessed gems serve not only to protect us in life, but in... Sorry, to guide our spirits onto the sunless sea in the hereafter. Even should we be felled by the Sin Eaters, so long as these gems are recovered, our souls are ensured peace in the dark. Cool. Next. The next quest is called Saying Goodbye. So Runar lets out a sigh of relief. So words fail to express my gratitude for this kindness you have done for the blessed. I must insist you and your friends attend Todia's service as honoured guests. There is still much we must do to prepare, but please go and inform the others. It will be held in the darker. When you arrive, there should be an attendant present to explain the proceedings. Okay, let's talk to Menphilia. So, Mifri, I learned so much about the Knights Blessed while you were away, and we helped them recover a lost heirloom out in the woods. I know I wasn't supposed to leave, but they really needed our help. These were Sin Eaters, and as long as she accompanied you, but do try to be more careful. Your injuries could have been a lot worse. Um, how did you... Let's just say a little bird told me, and it's telling me now that Mifri has business with us. Is something the matter? They've asked us to attend the service. Of course we'll go. It's being held in the darker, is it? We'll take care not to be late, I promise. Okay. So let's go now to the, uh, the darker. It is a pretty uh, expansion, that's for sure. The zones are way more exotic than the old ones. So the elderly woman hands you a candle. She then points over at a nearby corner where you might place it. Okay. Over here. Let's place the candle. A blue flame candle. Interesting. Okay. Next. Let's stand here. It seemed only right that we show our faces. May we join you? Let us begin. I thank you all for coming to pay respects to our fallen daughter of the night. In the light, she was known as Todia, but in the dark, we shall remember her always as Menin. 
Let us each take a moment to offer her our prayers. We entrust her now to the night's sweet embrace. In darkness will she be free from pain and suffering, now and forevermore. May her soul find peace in the sunless sea of heaven, and in the love we bear for her in our hearts. That vessel represents the night sky, the sunless sea of heaven. call upon you now, O bringer of shadow, to lead this gentle soul onto the sea. We call upon you, O warrior of darkness, to deliver her onto paradise everlasting. I am told you assisted in the preparations for the service. On behalf of the Blessed, you have my sincerest thanks. The enduring legend of the Warrior of Darkness owes much to the traditions of these people. And none were more ardent in their faith than Todia. She would have been greatly moved by your presence. Um, I should like to have met her. You know, I don't deserve such reverence. You might not deliver her to the heavens, but if you could deliver the night sky to her people, the real night sky, it would be the next best thing. Their prayers would finally be answered. They could gaze up at the firmament and see their ancestors in every twinkle of the stars. We cannot allow their hopes and dreams to drown in the light. We have to bring back the dark. If we don't, who will? Forgive me, thinking of all those we have lost. I... No, it's all right. We will bring back the dark. Mayhaps sooner than later, in fact. Urianje and I have finished deciphering the tablet and its contents were most illuminating. Let us reconvene in my chambers. We have much to discuss. Okay. So let's go talk to Yishtola. Once we get there, we will continue.
Okay, here she is. So let's talk to her. So, good you're here. Thanks to the Exarch uh, gift, our next course of action is now clear. Cool. So let's complete. Finally. So, level 75. World first, lol. Um, the next quest is called Stirring Up Trouble. Yustolda seems quite pleased with herself, but whether she has good or bad news to share remains to be seen. So, let me begin by first explaining the origins of this tablet. I initially believed it might detail the history of the Church of the First Light. Much to my surprise, it dates back to the end of the Roken Empire, and was likely written under the direction of the reigning ruler. It was a time of strife and unceasing war with neighbouring nations. With each passing day, they yielded more and more territory to their enemies. In their desperation, petitions for aid were sent out to their allies. This was one such petition. And you think this ancient petition will somehow help us get into uh, Yeek's Maja? Indeed we do. Uh, for etched into this tablet is a method by which one may prove themselves an ally of the Roken Empire. Provided we are able to decipher said instructions, we may entreat the ruins protectors to grant us safe passage. The problem is, however, is I presently lack the resources to decipher them in their entirety. We have but one recourse. There exists a stone monument inscribed with ancient Roken texts and translations into a more modern dialect, which came into use after the fall of the Empire. I am confident it will suit our purposes. Where can we find this monument? Um, here in Saitia, quite close to Sliverbow, in fact. The good news ends there, however, for it is in the possession of a rather radical faction of Dark Worshippers, the Children of the Everlasting Dark. If I am to study the monument, I must infiltrate their encampment. I have no intention of taking longer than absolutely necessary, but I will nevertheless require time to transcribe the text I need. To ensure that I will have enough, I am afraid I must ask you and Fangrid to assist me. And before you even ask, the answer is no. If we're to remain unseen, our group must be as small as possible. Alright, I'll stay here until you return. We won't be long. If anything should happen, you keep her safe. So then, let us convene outside to the west of Sliverbow, where the path diverges. It's treating her like she's a five-year-old child. But I understand because he's just he's being protective. Like he, he cares very much about Midphelia. Right, so we need to go to there. So once we get there, we will continue. Okay, so we reach Yastola, so let's talk to her. So the encampment we seek is to the north, but it should be foolish to simply rush in. A guard has been posted at Cleric to keep watch over the children. Perhaps he has ought to share of their recent activity. But we must tread carefully. There is a chance we may encounter them along the way. Stay close and stay alert. I would avoid a confrontation if possible. They rejoice in dealing death to others, claiming that in doing so they cleanse their victims of sin and usher them onto the Sunless Sea. I would rather not sully my hands um, defending myself against such madmen. Fair enough. Okay, so... Okay, we have to travel quite far north. So again, once we get there, we will continue. Okay, so we arrived. It seems we have a fight on our hands, so let me summon my chocobo. And let's see what we need to do. Let's deal with this person.
So you can see that the Chocobo does a lot of damage. So it's definitely worth having. So, by the Blessed Dark. Uh, thank goodness you are unharmed. Uh, we would have arrived sooner, but we too had a rather unwelcome visit from the children. You are an acquaintance of Master Matoya then, my apologies. The children have been acting strange of late, so I thought to take a closer look. I was careless. Strange, what have you seen? At first, there seemed to be nothing out of the ordinary. The usual gathering of ingredients for poisons from fauna and animals. But then I took notice of their venomous spiders. They've been breeding them in much greater numbers. It's as if they're preparing for something. Any ideas as to what? Uh, it could be anything, really. If it meant the end of the Blessed, nothing would be too cruel or violent for them. But perhaps we can use their present preoccupation with spiders to our advantage. Um, if we were to introduce a threat to the nest where they keep them, the children would be compelled to save them. Uh, bees, for example, are a natural predator of spiders. So set them loose in the nest and we would have our opportunity to sneak into their encampment. Uh, what a mischievous plan. I like it. With a bit of smoke, we should be able to subdue a few colonies long enough to secure their hives. Have you anything we might be able to use? Uh, we should have smoke bombs at the outpost just over there. Then it's settled. Grab a few smoke bombs from the outpost and search about the beehives. I imagine the bees won't take too kindly to our visit, but once they're knocked out, take the beehives and bring them back here. Two will suffice, I should think. So we're going to be bullying bees. I see how it is. Okay, so thankfully the outpost is not too far. It's just over here. So. Damn it. Let's hope it resets. Damn it. Okay, fine. I see how it is. Don't reset then. <laughs> God forbid I kill a mob and get EXP. Anyway, let's carry on. Done. Right, so we need to smoke out the beehives, which are just to the northwest. So let's go. I can't imagine that they'll take too kindly to what we're doing, but bees are a one mind race. Okay, we go. Beehive. Let us use a smoke bomb. There we go. So that's one. So let's actually take the beehive. Oh, sorry. We want to use the sack this time to actually bag it up. The so smoke bomb first and the sack second. Okay. So let's go for the second one. Try and avoid all these mobs along the way. So I am liking... Uh, this zone. Um, I'm surprised I haven't seen any Aether Currents yet. Just naturally, just by wandering around, but whatever. We'll get around to the Aether Currents when we get to the Aether Current Guide. 
Okay, so where is the beehive? Is he in the middle of these trees? There he is. So let's put the smoke bomb first. Okay, so now we have two. Almost there. Done. Next. Let's use the sack. Oops, sorry. Wrong one. Okay, so now let's take them back to Yeshtola. Again, she's not too far. At least I don't think she is. Let's hope we don't get attacked again by a flamingo. Damn it. Let's just see if they reset. Just so they don't interrupt the quest. Okay, they reset. Okay, let's talk to her. So, the guard returned to Sliverbow, but not before offering his thanks. As for the beehives, Frankred and I were successful in acquiring uh, what we need. How did you fare? So let's go buzzing burlap sack. For God's sake, don't let them out. <laughs> okay, um, this is more than enough. The children are certain to be pl displeased. Let us hurry before the bees begin to stir. Okay, let's complete. Next quest is called A Beautiful Plan. So Yishtola is ready to move. So, the children's settlement is to the west, a place called Woven Oath. According to the guard, there is an airway um, apart from the entrance, which leads to the spider's nest. If the fates are kind, uh, the way will be clear. Interesting. So, how far do we need to go? We have to go quite far. So, once we get there, we will continue. Okay, here we are. So, let's talk to her. So, up there is the airway. Do you see it? So, a bit far perhaps, but we should be able to toss a bag though. Uh, though we should probably loosen the ropes, keeping it closed, enough that it falls open when it lands inside. May I do the honours? So that should do it. Now we wait. What is that? Uh, bees by the abyss. They're everywhere. Help. Someone help. We have to save the spiders. Uh, it sounds like our plan is working. Uh, still, it's quite likely not all were drawn away from their posts. Um, if you should come to blows with the children, I'll see to it any signs of struggle are concealed. Failing that, I'll create a distraction to buy your stola more time. Uh, should anyone get past me, it falls to you to guard her. Okay. So your concern is appreciated, but I sincerely doubt it will come to that. Uh, why do I get the feeling you enjoy the idea of my loafing about bored in the shadows? Come now, Fancred. The shadows are a fitting place for the Warrior of Darkness. Now, if you are both ready... Okay, so we need to go a bit north. So once we get there, again, we will continue. Okay, so I found that even though there's like maybe a dozen of the children guarding the entrance, you can just run behind them and get here without much of a, a struggle at all. So the fun of seeing suggests that this is a chamber of prayer. At the very least, they should not place this near potential distractions from their workshop. Perhaps this monument is further in. Okay, so... Let's see if we can get further in. 
Uh, okay, here she is. There's a monument. So, yes, this is it. Um, I will be but a moment. Keep watch at the of the entryway. On second floor, would you mind examining the murals on these walls while I look over this? At a glance, I can tell they are old, uh, predating the founding of the Blessed and the Children, in fact. We're not like to come here a second time. It would behoove us to learn all we can. I mean, can't you just take a screenshot or something? Don't you have smartphones? I mean, you have magic, but you don't have cameras. Anyway, I'm just kidding. Let's, uh... Let's examine. We'll probably have a fight coming up. So, examine the murals and take note of what events may they may depict. You may move the camera as well as zoom in and out. Target mural, examine it. Okay. So the mural appears to be very old. A ruler sits atop of a throne, attended by their subjects. Okay. So the mural appears to be ancient. A warrior in the middle stands triumphant over what appears to be a creature of shadow. Other figures surrounded the warrior rejoicing in their victory. Okay, so we can't go that way. So the mural appears to be fairly old. A knight shields himself and their comrades from the encroaching darkness. The central figure is considerably faded. These paintings, they seem familiar. Depictions of heroes throughout history. The Age of Gods, the Empire of Ronka, and this. There was a man, a researcher who poured over these pieces. He offered us work when we needed it. Slaying beasts, delivering provisions. A funny old bugger he was. But he had a good heart. He believed this first painting dated back to a time of myth and legends. A tribute to the heroes of a long forgotten era. The story went that it was rediscovered by an explorer from Ronka, who was so struck by its majesty that a second painting was commissioned commemorating the heroes of their day. One day you will all be here too, he said. Heroes immortalized forever. Maybe I'll paint you myself? I had a good laugh at that. We were only trying to make our way after all. Being heroes couldn't have been further from our minds. But it seems he actually went and did it. Before or after the flood, I wonder. Oh, rather faded, isn't it? Compared to the others. What did someone try to scrape it off the wall? Well, maybe the man himself once he came to his senses. Do you suppose your deeds will warrant an addition to this collection? Or some other kind of monument? There you are. I have everything I need. Let us quit this place. Is something the matter? We should go. The others are waiting. Cool. 
and guard it teleported us out. Let's talk to Yishtola. So I believe now I have everything needed to finish deciphering the tablet. Tell me, Mifri, did the murals appear to be of any significance? So depictions of heroes from the Age of Gods, the Roken Empire and immediately before the Flood. Uh, very few observations, perhaps in another lifetime you could be a curator of antiquities. Though it has no bearing on the task at hand, perhaps that knowledge may prove to be of use in the future. Oh, so another quest. An unwanted proposal. Yishtola's thirst for knowledge uh, sated. She seems content to return to Sliverbo. Let's hurry to the Sliverbo. The others are waiting. After you've uh, we've returned, the two of you should rest a while. No doubt Runa will be eager to have you sample his cooking. As soon as I discover anything of import, you'll be the first to know. Awesome. Okay, so let's teleport back. Okay, where is he? There he is. So, Mifri, the god told me you left with Master Matoya to Woven Oath. And no sooner do you return that she locks herself away in her chambers without so much as a word. She knows how I worry when she leaves without telling me. But if she is uh, safe, that is all that matters. You must be hungry after such a journey. Why not have a sea there by the fire? The stew will soon be ready. Okay. I like stew, especially when it's free. Uh, even my chocobo is ready. Strange. The others on patrol should have returned by now. Our food will be overcooked if we wait any longer. We will just have to start without them. Would you call Master Matoya and the others? I tire of these games, Orianger. Why do you pretend you cannot see it? The blessing may spare her the fate of becoming a Light Warden. But you cannot be blind to the nascent corruption. She is not as she was in the Source. Though I have no proof, I fear that the light which poured forth from the Wardens was not negated at all. I fear it was absorbed, that she has been suffused with their light. Though I have given thought to this possibility, I dare not speak until more is known. By the time you deign to enlighten us, it may be too late, if it is not already. Orianger, I know full well, after all these years, that you have only the best of intentions. But that does not make it any easier to put my faith in a man so infatuated with secrecy. I have had my suspicions ever since the Exarch bade you speak that day. But now I must ask. 
The Eighth Umbral Calamity and all that followed. Everything you claimed to have seen. Did you? Help! Someone help! Ah, oh, damn it. The Omorans are come for us! We're under attack! What a time to interrupt, eh? Meanwhile, in Yulmor... Lord Forthree, how good it is to see you. How long has it been? Not since your inauguration, unless I'm mistaken. Too long, at any rate. May I say how humbled I am to be invited not only into your city, but your home. You are as generous as ever. And you as disingenuous. Let us dispense with the pleasantries. This merry band of dissidents people are calling warriors of darkness they have slain Sin Eaters, and by all accounts, the Crystarium is complicit in their villainy. And now, I hear reports of your people obstructing my soldiers. So I must ask, what exactly do you think you are doing? I might ask you the same thing. It should be clear, even to you, that defeating the Light Wardens represents the world's only hope of survival. Even now, the people of Lakeland and Ilmeg rejoice in the return of night. For a hundred years, they yearned for a means to fight back against the Sin Eaters, and at last they have found one. Yet you choose to stand idly by and do nothing. Why? Why? Because this hope you cling to is nothing more than a fever dream, an exercise in futility. Even should you slay the Sin Eaters, the world as we know it is beyond salvation. With what little land and resources remain, the people would be free only to starve. Before long, they would turn to violence, then to war, and ultimately usher themselves unto oblivion. They require a firm hand to shepherd them from the edge. The hand of a king. Nay, a god. I will see their dreams fulfilled, their wishes granted. I will give them peace, order, and they shall never want for bliss. Men are fickle creatures who entertain vague ideals without the faintest notion what they cost. But a little fear can go a long way towards helping them realize what it is they truly need. Sanctuary. And they shall find none in this world save that which I afford them. That is why the Sin Eaters exist. To unite the world under my dominion. A paradise fit to grace the Eighth Umbral Era. What was that? A minor epiphany, nothing more. You have always held sway over those around you. Those who defy you must submit or die. What sits before me is the inevitable result of bloated privilege and unchecked power. But man is more resilient than you think. 
His achievements are not the product of violence and bloodshed, but compassion and understanding. This calamity is but another crisis to be overcome, and we will once we eliminate the Sin Eaters. You poor deluded fool. These people care not for the morrow. They care only for the now, and the contentment they lack. What good is a paradise to them if it is a thousand years in the making, or even a hundred? You underestimate them, Lord Forthry. They see further than you think. I have beheld it in the blood and sweat and tears of those who would sacrifice everything for a future they may never know, that their children may never know. I have beheld it in the hopes and dreams of those who came before, which we bequeath to those who come after, that they might in turn build upon the foundations laid by our forebears. These are the bonds which hold man and his world together, not your gilded chains, and I will resist your every effort to shackle him. In summary, you will continue to support the villains hunting my Sin Eaters? With tremendous enthusiasm, for I have faith in the future they would build. Oh, why do I even bother? Fools, the lot of you! So naive! So painfully predictable! Did you imagine I did not know your mind? That I would wait until after this meeting to dispatch my forces? Even as we speak, they march to the Sin Eater's defense. Insurrection will not be tolerated! The people of this world are mine to rule! Mine to command! And you are no exception! What? How did he...? Insolent swine! I will not stand for this! Do you hear me? So. You speak for the Knights Blessed? I do. I presume that is your doing. If you have come to parley, I must insist that you first return him to us. You are in no position to make demands. By Lord Vorthry's decree, Raktika now falls under the governance of Yulmore. You will henceforth answer to us. Is that so? And the children of the Everlasting Dark have acquiesced to this madness. We have reached an accord, yes. Too many times have the Knights Blessed shunned Yulmore's overtures of friendship. The risk that you harbor hostile intentions has grown too great to ignore. Therefore, his Lordship has claimed dominion over this forest and bestowed executive authority upon the Children of the Everlasting Dark. In his wisdom, Lord Vorthry has agreed to recognize ours as the only permissible expression of dark worship. It's one true faith. You and your false creed are a blight on these woods. A foul, unholy corruption that must be cleansed. 
Little wonder the warrior of darkness visits both Lakeland and Ilmeg, yet shuns Raktika. Your perverted teachings hold blessed shadow at bay. You have accepted the yoke of Yulmore to spite us, then. Fools. Darkness will never return to these skies while they hold sway. Those of you minded to obey his lordship are to make for woven oath with all haste. We will leave you, but you may have time to prepare. Woven oath? Are you suggesting we abandon our fate to join those salads? What has your faith afforded you thus far? Nothing! We will guide you along the righteous path. And should we refuse? Anyone found here upon our return will be considered a traitor to Yulmore and dealt with as such. We will discuss these developments after I have tended to our casualty. Okay, so let's talk now to Yuri Andre. So, the guard have been afflicted with a most terrible and efficacious poison. We have attempted all manner of healing incantations. Alas, his condition remains unchanged. At present, we can but show the poison's advance, slow the poison's advance. I pray it will afford us sufficient time to find a cure. Cool. That's complete. So, yeah. So, anyway, guys, like I said, um, I don't want the episodes to go on too long. So, if you liked that episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch around the video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there. Or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.